Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen, was Sallallahu Sallam, Allah Nabiya Muhammad, Wala Ali was Sahbihi was Sallam. Emma Barahabit of Allah furthering why a person should never take knowledge from, listen to, or be influenced by people like Abdullah al Faisal al Jamaiki, nor should they even look to his so-called scholarship nor is he a person of sunnah nor is he from ahla sunnati wal jama'ah but rather he is a descendant in creed in methodology of the khawarij and he is a proponent of the ideology of takfir Inheriting that ideology from groups like Jamaat Tikfir wa Hijra, groups like Al Qaeda, ideologues beginning and from the ideas that spawned from Maududi, Sayyid Qutb. and other contemporary groups of takfir and bloodshed. And we're just going to read one statement to show his da, that he's a dal mudil, meaning he is a person of misguidance who calls other to misguidance. And it amazes me how many people still come out of the woodwork to say and use the most inappropriate language that I will never repeat here, and I challenge them to say that to my face. Uh, the most inappropriate language that we don't allow to be spoken on the channel as far as cursing, as far as racist remarks and other things like this. And even we refrain from using those kind of remarks with people who we regard as the most deviant individuals that are still within the fold of Islam. But we don't curse them. We don't talk about their character and their shaksiya necessarily, but we try to regard, we try to res uh, keep the debate and the discussion within the context of what has been said and what is practiced as an ideology or minhaj or methodology. Faisal said, in a tape enti entitled, Let the Scholars Beware. So you can find it for yourself. It's not something I made up. Here's what he said from his tongue, showing his misguidance. Showing he doesn't have the aqid of Ahl Sunnah. Showing that he doesn't have the methodology of Ahl Sunnah. Wa jama wala qaleel wala kathir. Qal, anytime takfir is made on a man and his wife still stays with him and cohabits with him, that woman is committing zina. Okay, we already see his ideology. And this is the, the kind of Messiah, instead of raising the youth up and giving them tarbiyah about tawheed, about sunnah, about the Islamic sciences, his main thing was waking up in the morning, and I know so many people that were affected by his da'wah, who would literally wake up, make a takfir of bin Baz and Uthaymeen, and imams of the sunnah, of Ahlul Sunnati with Jama'ah in this time. But I promise you, I know so many of them who don't even, who didn't, couldn't even recite Fatiha properly. And they definitely didn't even know more than a third of Jews' Amma. And most of them could not necessarily pray properly. But yet they knew how to make takfir and they knew how to get into major Messiah way above their level of knowledge and understanding of Islam. So Faisal said, again, anytime takfir is made on a man and his wife still stays with him, and cohabitates with him, that woman is committing zina. Okay, we see his reasoning. Okay, for one, takfir is a mas'ala ijtihadiya, especially when it comes to takfir al ma'ayin. There's two types of takfir takfir al mutlaq, takfir al ma'ayin. Takfir al mutlaq, the general takfir, is when, and these are legislated by Allah wa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Meaning, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes takfir the mushrikeen in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes takfir, meaning that they're not Muslim. Ahl kitab. Inna ladhina kafaru min ahl al-kitab wal-mushrikeen fi nari jahannam. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they will be in the hellfire forever. Khalidina fiha. That's called takfirum ayin. So that means there's a nas, there's a text, there's a wasf, there's a description, which is general. That means whoever fits that description is a disbeliever in general. That's takfir mutlaq. Takfir al ma'ayyan, the second type of takfir, is takfir when you make that ahkam. Tanzila ahkam ala ma'ayyan. It is to make a specific ruling on an individual. So for example, in Faisal's case, we already know the fitna from his da'wah and we know it spread around the earth. So many people in these western countries especially, because that's who were influenced by him, would take an individual, they would make takfir of him for whatever the case may be. Could be just because he, he wasn't with him. Could be because they didn't like what he said in the minbar. It could be because he praised a scholar who they thought was a scholar for dollars and all this other rhetoric, which has no basis in the shara. But they made takfir of him. So then, if you don't agree with their takfir, that means you fall under the, the, the principle that Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, and that we have to know and understand the context of the principle. Shaykh Islam said, Men la yakfir, men you, lem you kafir uh, al kafir, fu kafir. Okay? Whoever doesn't make takfir of a disbeliever, then he's a disbeliever. 